Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to wire a South African plug top. The following tools will be useful. A side cutters, wire strippers, screwdriver and another screwdriver. This is a flat and this is a star depending on the type of plug you are wiring. Right, just having a look at these four plug tops. These are all different manufacturers and something you'll notice is to open this one, it's got two screws. This, this happens to use a flat screwdriver. This one over here is a star or flat. This one over here is two flat screws. As you can see, this has got a rubberized cover. And then this one over here is a red one. If you're seeing these red plugs, you'll notice that it's got this flat part over here because it's usually signifying an emergency power. And you'll notice that the socket is a little bit different. Can you see that it is beveled there? So normal plugs do not fit in a emergency socket. So there you can see the bevel while this one is round. And then the last type is one with no screw. What happens is you insert your screwdriver in there and you twist and you'll see that the plug top can open like that. Right, so in this example, I'm going to use this plug. So what you need to do is open the screws. So I'm gonna unscrew them now. If the pins fall out, it's not a problem. You can just slot them back in. You'll notice that these two are thinner and shorter than the top one. The top one signifies the earth pin. Right, so here is the cable. Now I'm just gonna cut this off because I'd like to show you how to install it if you were doing it from scratch. Right, here is the cab tie wire. I measure 35 millimeters. I take my side cutters and I gently just cut partially into the jacket. If you have a look there, I've not cut through the jacket and I rather tear it by bending it. And now I pull off this insulation. Right, now you take wire strippers and you remove about 10 millimeters of the insulation. The reason we use wire strippers is you can see there's a hole there and then it doesn't cut through the copper. If you don't have wire strippers, you can use side cutters. Right, a safety precaution is to keep the earth wire longer than the live and the neutral. So what I do is I cut the blue and the brown wire at the level of where I removed the insulation of the earth wire. Now I remove the insulation of the neutral and the live wire. Please note, I do not cut through the insulation. What I do is it's more of a pulling function and a tearing. As you can see, I tear the insulation away and this way I haven't damaged any of the copper strands. Make sure you twist the copper strands. Your wire should now look like that. Loosen the screws. On most plugs it actually says live, neutral and earth. So if you have a look closely there you see the L, there's the N and there's the earth. Right, now the brown wire, that's the live wire. The brown wire goes to the right. Listen to the word. Brown, B-R-R -R for right. The blue wire goes to the left. Listen to the word. Blue, B-L, L for left. The neutral wire goes to the left. The earth wire is the longer one that goes in the middle. You also notice that the earth pin is longer and fatter. If it's easier for you and your plug allows it, you can just remove the prong and wire it like this. Please note that the screw must fasten onto the copper. The screw must not fasten onto the jacket. If the screw is only fastened onto the jacket, it'll cause arcing and heating of this wire. For example, if you look inside there, you can see that the screw is fastened onto the jacket. That is incorrect. Fasten the earth wire to the topmost pin. Right, you'll see these wedges that are there to make sure the wire doesn't pull out. When you seat the wire, it should not be very tight. You should seat this a little bit inwards so that these wires are not pulling tightly on these terminals. You'll notice that the earth wire is longer than the live and the neutral. That is a safety precaution. For example, if somebody is rough with the appliance and happened to pull very firmly on this wire, if it had to come out here, you'll see what will happen. So for example, these wedges broke and somebody kept pulling on it, even though the neutral has come out, the live is still connected to your appliance, but look at the earth. The earth is a bit longer, so it remains intact even if the wire is pulled a bit, making sure that your appliance is always earth, that the earth is the last wire to be pulled out of your plug. Just before you close it, make sure these prongs are seated correctly. For example, that is not seated correctly, but now it is seated correctly. Make sure none of these wires are sitting on the screw post or they'll get crushed when you put the plug top on. Do a last check, make sure everything is tight. And now put your plug top on. Right, now in this plug it's a little bit different but the same principle applies. If you have a look, there isn't a hole where you slide the wire in. There's actually just a space on either side of the screw. So in this case you'll slide the wire in on the side and then you'll tighten the screw. 
So as you can see in this setup, you're basically sandwiching the wire between these two copper contacts. All you'll do is you'll tighten it and then you'll follow the same principle for the neutral and the earth. If you're using one of these snapper plugs, if you want to close it, sometimes these wedges just fall out. You just insert them back in as follows, like that. And then if you want to close it, you line it up, you keep it straight, and then with a the balanced pressure, you compress it. There we go. And if you want to reopen it, put your screwdriver in there. It's a flat screwdriver, and then you twist. And then you can see the front opens, and then all you need to do is bend it out like that. One of the reasons why I say be very careful with the removing of the jacket is if you try and cut through the jacket, you often are too harsh and you just cut the wire and that's not going to work. Or maybe you're attempting to just cut the jacket and you actually indent the copper. For example, I'm at the layer of the copper. There's the copper, as you can see. And unfortunately, I've, I've indented into the copper and as you can see what happens is because I've indented into it some of the strands comes off and you actually reduce the current carrying capability if this happens if some of the wires start coming off and as you can see when you fiddle with them how the strands just come off. So the point is to just really make an indentation in the jacket without actually getting through to the copper layer. Therefore, all I need to do is now pull. So I'm just pulling the jacket off, as you can see, and now no copper will break off over there. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.